If your younger brother is going to get married now, the whole family has to support him. And we already talked about how you are going to pay for the whole wedding as his older sister. So please, don't think you can talk your way out of things this time. You're joking, right? Send me $70,000 right now. <laughs> you already know all of my bank account details, so I expect that money to get into it by the end of the day today. Wait, hold on a second. I literally have no idea what you're talking about right now. Is Davis really going to get married now? And with May? That's what I'm saying right now, aren't I? He's amazing, isn't he? For someone who had been a shut-in all his life, he's finally getting married. And to someone as gorgeous and fun as May, he really is an adult now. Well, he's still a shut-in right now, though, and him getting married now isn't going to change anything. Honestly, I think it's only going to make him worse. You need to stop getting so jealous of him right now just because you're the one that's still single. You're making yourself look like a disgrace. Wait, the reason I can't get married is... Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't get married. First of all, you are very narrow-minded. And second of all, you're always so sassy. And when it comes to the way you speak to others, you're always so rude and defensive. Any one of these things wouldn't be much of an issue, but considering that you have them all, nobody is willing to marry you. Oh, we can also talk about your looks. <laughs> How dare you talk about your own daughter that way? It's because you're my own daughter that I might be able to talk to you like this. Oh, Jesus. So this is what they mean by having selfish kids that don't care about their parents' feelings. How come you're the one calling me selfish when it's you and David who rely on my income? I think both you and him just don't like the person that I am, right? My goodness. You're always fighting with me like that. Nothing about you has changed from the past. You take a look at your little brother right now and learn from him. That kid is always listening to what I have to say to him, right? Why are you asking me to look and learn at my little brother who doesn't have a job and is always sitting in the house all day playing his video games? Now answer this, Mom. Why are you always spoiling somebody like him when I'm the one who's working my butt off making all the money for this family? Because David happens to be a good little kid for me. He and I never have to talk about him getting a job or him being a shut-in either. He's just a better person than you all around, and that's why I never complain about him. And unlike yourself, he's told me that he'll be willing to show me my grandkids one day. And who do you think is going to be the one to raise that grandchild of yours? Not only does David not have a job right now, but neither does May. I feel like neither one of those jobless shut-ins should be having a kid in this day and age. I'm telling you right now to stop acting so twisted talking about him like that. He's not even here to defend himself right now, which makes you look all the worse. How can you even call yourself a mother right now when you talk to me like this? Jeez, all of this on top of already having to deal with a really suspicious person at work today? Anyway, with you being his older sister, you're going to be the one paying for his wedding, understood? It's going to be 70000 uh, You can handle that, right? After all, you are the CEO of your own company. I seriously don't have any clue what you were talking about right now. <laughs> what is going on with you right now? Are you seriously going to get married to May now? Oh, did you already hear about that from Mom? Well, I seriously am going to get married to her. I heard that by getting married, you're more likely to get help from the government, and that's why I want to marry her. So that's your reason for wanting to be with her? Well, of course, that's not the only reason I want to be married to her. For May and I, it already feels like we're both living together, and... I'm sure if I get married to her right now, it'll make Mom feel a whole lot better about herself, right? Well, if you want to make Mom feel better about herself, how about you get a job? Lena, I feel as though I've already told you this before. I am a pro gamer right now, and that means playing games is my job. Listen, David, I don't mind you calling yourself a pro gamer or anything like that, but at least start calling yourself that once you're making some money. 
And to make sure that I make a lot of money as a pro gamer, I have to continue to practice over and over again. When it comes to us gamers, playing every day is the best thing we can do for ourselves. It's like being a pro athlete training over and over again for the big day. And if you were a real pro gamer, I would support you in what you're doing. I, for one, actually happen to like video games myself and have watched a lot of esports tournaments before. But listen, David, have you ever even been in a gaming tournament before? Recently, I haven't had the time to get into the tournaments, but I'm telling you, the next tournament that comes up, I'm going to play in it and leave some lasting impressions. And that's why right now I'm not even sleeping because I'm training so much for those tournaments. What do you mean you haven't had the correct timing to get into these tournaments? It's not like you're doing anything else with your day, so make time to actually play in them for once. Either way, you can't keep calling me a shut-in like that all the time. So when it comes to that 70 grand mom was asking for, make sure you hand it over to her. If you keep thinking you're not some kind of shut-in, then how about you pay yourself? Are you not aware of how ridiculous everything you're saying is sounding right now? You're just jealous of me, aren't you, Lena? I know because mom told me before about you. You happen to still be single and haven't even had a chance with another man in a long time. So when you see me and May having a good relationship with each other, you only grow more jealous and upset. You're not even listening to what I'm saying anymore. By the way, what is May even doing right now for a living? Can't she at least go out and find a job so you guys can make a little income? Right now, May is working as a YouTuber, so she's doing the same thing as me right now, working an incredible job inside of her comfortable room, so there's no reason for either one of us to have to leave the house to go work. Ugh, you are still saying that she's doing those things? Then tell me, David, how many videos has May made so far as a YouTuber? She's made one video so far, and that was her debut video. So she still only made one video so far for her YouTube channel, and that was a half a year ago. Yet you're still going to call her a YouTuber? <sighs> the both of you really need to have a good look at your reality right now. Like, seriously. Shut up! You're the one that should be taking a good look at your reality. How about you stop screwing around all the time and go out and find yourself a man who you can marry? Oh, but unlike me, you're both ugly and stupid, so there was never going to be a chance for you to find a man. I think it's best that you start finding a liking in women instead. I've had enough of this. Even trying to care about your situation right now is going to make me go insane. Sure, I'm the one who's going insane right now listening to you. Anyhow, you need to make sure to pay that 70 grand to mom as soon as possible, all right? God. Excuse me, Lena, but where have you gone off to? I noticed that all of your things have disappeared out of your room as well. I'm sorry, but I ran away from home in the middle of the night. I am no longer going to be affiliating myself with any of you anymore. Well, that is nothing but fantastic news to my ears. Because I'll never, ever have to see you in that arrogant attitude of yours ever again. But uh, just make sure to keep sending your brother and I the money for this house and the food, all right? You're the older sister after all, so that's only natural for you, right? I have no reason to be sending you both money anymore. What? What I just said meant that I am cutting ties to you now. Last night I made that decision and boy did it feel great. I was wondering why I had to be the one taking care of two useless people and it came to me that there was no reason for it at all. You hold it right there. Whoever said that you had any right to be cutting ties to David and I? I don't need anyone telling me whether I have the right to or not. <laughs> Would you like me to go to Dad's grave or something and ask him for permission? You listen here. That's the kind of sassy and arrogant attitude that I'm talking about. You're making it out like you're the one who's better than the rest of us here. Well, that's because I am better than the both of you. 
Didn't you realize that already? <laughs> I've been the one paying for literally everything that has to do with the family. From the house and its rent to the food and other crap everyone needs. And it hasn't just been the both of you either recently, but May as well, who just came crawling right in with the rest of us and isn't even adding anything to the family. So no matter how you think of it, I'm the best here. I'm the god of all you heathens. You're having to do all of that for us because we're your family. And remember me, the one that raised you from the moment you were formed in my belly? Excuse me? The only person I ever remember caring for me was Dad. And ever since he passed away, I have had to take his place and work for the rest of you. <laughs> you really seem to think that we all have to repay you for doing that. You're the one that just said you were the one that raised me all this time in a condescending tone, right? That makes you far more of a dick than I am right now. Well, so be it. Since this is the way you want to handle things, don't even bother coming back to this house anymore. Now that you cried about all of those things, you're feeling a lot better, right? Not at all. I won't be feeling better about things until after I've cut ties to you all completely. Are you still not aware of that either? I'm not going home. Listen, you. If you don't actually come back here, then what are we all going to do? I don't care. How about the three of you do something with your lives and get jobs? What the hell was that? Then what are we supposed to do about David and May's upcoming marriage? You're the older sister, right? Are you telling me that you have no interest in paying for their wedding? Why the hell do I have to hand over $70,000 to you? How about those two just go to the courthouse, hand in their paperwork, and get married without a wedding? It would be practically free that way. They're not going to do that. Oh, you really are such a cold-hearted woman. I am? I wonder who I got that from. With all of that having been said, I am no longer going back home. Goodbye forever now, Mom. You hold your horses, Lena. Yo, Lena! What do you think you're doing cutting ties to both Mom and me? Are you abandoning all of us now after you left the house without telling a single person? Actually, yeah, I am abandoning you all. From now on, the three of you will have to figure things out there. That can't be! If you really do leave us forever, you're gonna be upsetting Mom! And I am totally fine with her being upset. If anything, I'd love it if she got so upset that she had to cry about it. What? What do you think Dad up in heaven will think about all of this? I'm sure he's gonna be so saddened by all of this. I like to believe that Dad will actually be really happy to see me breaking ties with all of you. After all, it was only he and I that actually amounted to anything in the family. That's not true at all. How could he be happy about you throwing away the rest of your family like that? Well, hold on a second. You're the pro gamer, aren't you? And you told me that May is still a YouTuber. As long as you both keep doing that, you should be able to support the family off that income, right? I told you before that I'm not making any income yet with this job. It's not as easy as you think to be able to make a living off of being a professional. Life is not as easy as you think. I never thought I'd be getting told that by you. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm not going to stick around to care for the three of you. And I do not plan to ever hand you guys that 70000 you're all begging me for. What?! You're not going to give us that money? Why are you getting so surprised by me saying that? If anything, I'm the one who's shocked that you feel like your marriage would be worth my 70000 But wait. If we don't have that money, we'll be in trouble. Please, Lena, please. I'm sure that it doesn't cost 70000 to get married to someone like May. It's not about the marriage itself, but the fact that I've got to use $70,000 on some other things. Huh? What was that? What are you planning to do with my money? 
I need to pay off my debt! It's getting to that point now where if I don't start to pay it off soon, I'll be in major trouble! And it seems that they already found out about where I live! Hold it right there, David. Tell me exactly what happened there. What kind of debt did you get into? I didn't even realize that you were in so much debt right now. It's all because May wanted so many things from me. And so I just thought that later on I'd have you pay back all of that debt for me. So it was all a lie that you needed the money for a wedding? I mean, if we were to have a wedding, who all would be willing to actually come to it? Both myself and May have been neats all our life, which would make it a waste of money. You're being way more open about all of that than I thought. Wait a sec, where did a neat like you even end up borrowing all of that money from then? I borrowed it from some guys that May knows, and she said they'd be willing to lend me a bunch of money. However, recently they've really been getting on me about paying them back. What? Wait, does that mean... They required that I sign for a very high interest rate, and now it's coming to bite me in the ass. I told them about where you worked and everything, but after they visited there, they all came right back to me. Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing? So that's what that was all about? That strange man that came into the office one day? You, hold on, wait, that would mean uh, May is... That's right. It can't be helped how selfish of a woman she really is. But to me, that kind of a personality is really cute, right? Think all of this through very carefully, David. Are you not aware that May is most likely associated with that group and is there to help get people into insane debt? Hey, that's not at all the case. You're just overthinking things now. I'm not overthinking a single goddamn thing here. The way I'm thinking about all of this is very normal for most people. I'm telling you, that's not the case. There's no reason for her to do something like that. So could you please cut it out now with those stupid delusions you're having about her? David? Cut the bullcrap and take a look around you right now, why don't you? I always knew you had a hard time seeing things for the way they really are, but now you're making it seem as though you're just blind. God. Shut up about it already! You're just starting to piss me off now saying all of that about me. You have to understand that I'm telling the truth deep down, right? You've been tricked by her, but you're too afraid to admit it. I know as your older sister that you're not totally stupid. You've always been really calm when approaching everything and have always looked at things thoroughly enough to understand them. Shut up already! I know that May loves me and that you're just jealous. I've even heard her say that she loves me thousands of times. David, has there ever been anything the woman has done for you so far? Well, uh, about that. And how much have you been getting used by her? Well, in terms of money, she's used about $40,000. So you're telling me that you've borrowed and spent $40,000 for the woman, and yet she hasn't done a single damn thing for you? And yet you're still telling me that that right there is love? I read all over online that things like love don't have to be shown through buying things for the other partner. I get what you're saying, but she's used you for $40,000 now, right? Are you kidding me? That's the kind of money where you'd expect to get something of monetary value back from her. No matter how much I love someone, if they were to use $40,000 from me, then I'd make sure to let them know that I expect more than just the words I love you back in return. That's just because you're a cold-hearted woman and only care about things. Anyhow, Mary's not the kind of monster you keep on having the delusion that she is. And you know what? Now I'm going to go and ask her myself about that to prove my point to you. <coughs> Yo, Mary's gone and run off and I can't find her anywhere. Are you kidding me? 
I didn't think that she'd have to leave the house today, but why would she... Why would May leave me like this? None of this is making any sense to me. No, this should all be making really good sense to you now, right? You were used by her to get some money from her loan shark friends. She left me a note on the kitchen counter. It reads, hurry up and pay off that money in bold letters. This is so strange, actually. Because originally it was me that gave all of that money to her. All she did was force you to take out a loan for a large sum of money and use you for it over time, right? She must have known someone like you would be the easiest person to trick into something like that. She must have also been aware that your older sister is a CEO and knew there would be some real money in you. No way! I know for sure, for sure that May was threatened into doing this to me! She must have just gotten scared because of those men, and that's why she took off. I know that has to be the truth. If that's really what you want to believe that the reason was, then go right ahead. But if you're only doing that as a way to run from reality, you're better off stopping right now. What should I be doing about all of this? Well, I'm not going to sit around and help you with all of that. Now, you get out of that house and learn how to take care of yourself for once. Get yourself a job that actually pays you and live a new life. You can do that, right? Something simple as that? Now, please go out and do that now before it's too late. I wonder if I can really do all of that. Honestly, I don't know. But since you're an adult now and have been for years, you should be able to do all of that. It's expected of you in this world. So stop trying to ask me for all of this help. Help yourself instead of trying to ask others. But I'm sure all of that is going to be really tough for you when all you do is make excuses in order to run away from reality, right? <laughs> I'm not running away from anything! The reason you never actually join any gaming tournaments is because you're too afraid to lose and so you run away, right? If you were to just think about the moment and believe in who you are, then I'm sure you wouldn't end up in as bad of an outcome as you think. But instead, all you do is think about failing, and that's why you turn tail and run the other way. You! Now, do your best turning your life around while also figuring out how not to live like a total loser. And try not to upset our dad up in heaven any longer than you already have. What the hell did you end up saying to David? He is so upset and sad now that he won't even respond to any of my calls to him now. I had to show him the reality of his situation. I just hope that with his eyes opened wide to all of it, he'll start to take care of himself more and change for the better. You shut up and come back home right now. Just a second ago, a bunch of strange men arrived at the house and have been encircling it. Those are the guys who have come to reclaim all of that money David took from them. Huh? Reclaim what money? And try your best to help David pay that 70000 to all of them when they come greet you. After all, it's only you left who can help David out with all that now. Hold on a second. So he's in debt? And what's this 70000 all about? David is in some terrible debt right now. That 70000 that he'd been telling you about had nothing to do with his wedding, but with paying off all of that debt he's currently in. And that debt came from May, who took advantage of and tricked David into getting into debt to give her everything she'd asked for before she took off. And the money that he's borrowed was done at an insanely high interest rate. I'm not able to think straight about anything right now. Wait, is that really true? Uh, but May was always so... I feel kind of bad for you now, but you're going to have to take great care of David now, all right? Hey, I'm asking you to please come back home right now. I promise not to bully you anymore while you're here. I've finally come around to realizing just how much I appreciate you and the person you are. I'm very sorry, but that's impossible now. I was the first one to have their eyes opened and will not be shutting them anytime soon. I had to see the reason for why I was having to give up all my time and money for you guys. When I figured that the answer didn't even exist, I really started to hate myself. I'm going to think about all of this and learn, okay? 
That's it. At the very least, can you uh, please pay off all the debt that David is in right now? I'm sure we'll be able to pay you back, all right? How does that sound? Please. You're never going to give me any of that money back. I mean, look at you both. Neither one of you has ever worked in your lives, and yet you're telling me you'll pay me back $70,000? And even if you're to get a job right after, I'm sure you both will get fired or whatever, knowing both of your personalities. That will not happen. I will do my best no matter where I have to work. I promise that you'll get your money back. So could you please give us the money to pay off his debt? If you're saying you'll try your best at whatever job you get, then how about you start right now and use your income to pay off that debt? I'm sure that if you go out there and state that you'll both start to work in order to pay all of that debt off, they will all agree to that. Even I'll step in as a guarantor in this and let them know you're telling the truth. What? You really think that's going to work on them? I think you still have time to make things right. I'm no CEO just for show, you know. And they probably aren't smart enough to distrust you anyway, nor myself, so I think it should all work out. But when this happens, you have to promise that you will work to pay off all that money. Because if you mess up again by doing nothing and not paying back the amount they're owed, then I'm not going to even bother stepping in to help. I... I understand. I'm sure, though, that you'll have to pay even more as the time goes on, since you're already being affected by the interest. Do your very best, all right? But if you go and leave us forever, David and I won't be able to pay for the rent or anything. I promise that I'll work seriously to pay everything off, so you come back and help us with that, all right? Even with David's help, I won't be able to pay for this place. What are you going on about right now? I am no longer going to be a part of your family anymore. The only family you're going to have now is David and not another soul else. As family, it's only natural that you go and help them out, right? <laughs> When I was finished with that conversation with my mom, I went and blocked her number before also deleting her contact in my phone. And I made sure to do the exact same things to David, so I don't think I'll ever be hearing from either one of those two ever again. I did just as I promised, and spoke with those men that were surrounding my mom's house looking for David, and told them that my mom would be able to pay them back once she got her a job. At first, it seems that both my mom and brother found work and had been trying their best to make the money they desperately needed. But after a couple of weeks, the both of them quit their jobs at the exact same time and started to borrow money from another location in order to pay off the current debt. Sure, that'll buy them a little bit more time for now, but that's only going to prolong the inevitable suffering they'll be getting put through down the road. But considering that the both of them just love to look the other way to reality and run from it, there was only a matter of time before they did all of this to themselves. Now, with those two being in even more debt than they started out battling, they will most definitely not be paying rent for the next couple of months and are on their way to becoming homeless. A few months later, I heard that those two ended up getting beaten pretty hard by the group of loan sharks they had borrowed from after the first group, and that left David totally paralyzed and my mom in a coma, which she's still not out of. But those injuries didn't get given without some sacrifice to those men, as in a last-ditch effort before they came to get their money, David bought a gun and killed one of them. Of course, the court doesn't really agree with what he's done as being a form of self-defense, and now he's on trial for murder, and will most likely end up in prison for life. Watching all of this play out from far away has shown me one thing more than anything else, and that's that family was nothing but trouble. I thank God every single day that I was given the chance to escape all of that and change my name so I'm never associated with those two ever again. And now that we're back on the subject of myself, back when I had first ran away from them in the middle of the night, I made sure to make a road trip out of it and drove all the way across the U.S. Luckily, a lot of my work can be done remotely, so my leaders agreed that I could do what I had to to escape my mom. And before I knew it, I was in Oregon, signing the contract to a new apartment where I'd be starting. I'm still being asked to go back to the office once a year for our annual meeting, but besides that, I'm free to be here living life like I hadn't just gone through years of pain with my mom and brother. And now understanding that I'm going to have all of my money to myself now, I think it's time that I started to pick up some new hobbies to keep me entertained and make some new friends. 
Uh, and I'd better not forget the most important thing of all this here. And that's the fact that I finally have the time and energy to go out and find myself a man to marry now. <laughs>